G'day fellas, Segregated Chihuahua47 here, back with another episode of the Assassin's Dynasty. Today we've got two really interesting games, one against UAB who, you know, they're pretty good, I guess. They're like as good as ECU and they got blown out. However, we also have rice. And I'm not talking about the food, right? We are talking about the Giovanni Johnson-led rice team at their stadium as well. It's gonna bring back so many memories, man. I am honestly expecting to hopefully blow these guys out. I'm not trying to stay in games too long. The quicker we get through the CUSA, to me, the better. I'd rather see games against harder teams. But that being said, if you're new around here and you enjoy Madden and NCAA content, this is the channel for you to forget to sub. All of my socials are down in the didgeridoo. And if you'd like to pick yourself up some G Fuel discount code CROW at checkout, my referral link is the top one in the description. That being said, fellas, let's get into it. Wow, their 97 overall right end is injured right now. That is so lucky for us. It wouldn't be a Perim Crow video unless we started out on defense in the 5-2 as well. Expecting run. There we go. Bring him down. Easy job, boys. Oh, there we go with the sack. Again, I keep feeling like they're going to call a uh, screenplay on the left. Nope, not yet at least. And that's an overthrow. Big yikes by Tyler Johnston. We'll take the ball. I mean, I'm not trying to get him ahead of self here, but I feel like this might be a little bit of a quick episode, you know? Like that. And we got the block as well. Beautiful. And this is the beautiful part. Like, I can put my head down here and truck people as well. If needs be. Okay, that was a big shoulder charge. I'm taking off. Oh, they got a spy up. And we can't make that throw. That's a tough throw, though. We're going to have to go for this, though, right? Yeah. I'm almost certain that our kicker is missing a leg. Sometimes we are, like, right in front and still can't kick it. We go. Take that. Let's actually flip it. Go to the left. Oh, this is good. Oh, double ankle breaker. They're the types of runs I like to see, mate. I wish I could flip this, but I know I can't. Yeah, this is a yikes. Oh, well, TFL and a wasted play for us. Never mind, Joe Simmons for six. I was thinking about giving it to the fullback, Nate Scott, but I can't. Gonna have to give it off to Colton Mead. Straight in, we're on the board, fellas. Here we go again. <laughs> They're just not expecting the sacks, mate. They're not ready for the ferocity that is the people's. So I just woke up and I haven't had coffee yet and I'm, I get triggered easily. So this is taking out a lot of anger right now. And we're winning. Oh, shit. <laughs> we still got it. They're going to go back to it, though. This is the problem. It's third and nine. I could call coverage, but from the way that we've been hunting down their quarterback, I just don't see the point. Literally. Star players coming off the right. Screen play him on it. Let's go, baby. Too easy. I mean, you got to keep in mind as well, last episode, we thought we were going to run through Marshall. And if you haven't seen that episode, no spoilers, but that game was just the worst. Like, it was so difficult, man. Go get that block. Jamie Jones, outspeeding, hopefully. Yes, let's go. Breaks the tackle, Jamie Jones. Oh, there was one man to beat. And he, now he's injured, of course. Oh, wow, they actually fell for that. We had triangle, but I didn't want to risk throwing it on the run. I'd rather just beat Cajonis that one in the end zone. But now we just need to get two more stops. Two more touchdowns, whatever. If they're going to run it, I promise you, it is going to be a long day for UAB. That's what I was thinking about as well. I kind of want to do another coordinated dynasty, but defense this time. Let me know what you think about that, because I think we'd have to get rid of a series. Come on. Good tackle. That's actually really clutch that he wrapped him up there. The problem is now they're in five wide, <laughs> and we're in a five two. Oh, nice, nice. Wow, mild concussion out for game. And he's our best cornerback as well. Like, Loki, we need him. All right, this is a good idea. Because it very well might be a screenplay again. I'm not on my man Presley, though. It just doesn't feel right. 
He's going to get sacked. That was in a 3-2-6, keep in mind. Get it. Nice little block there. Joe Simmons, I need you to be more like the quarterback. Man, coverage. Wow. Oh, he dropped it. Never mind. Okay. We're, do we're doing this thing again where we drop it every play. Yeah, let's go. Easy first. I love having a quarterback that can scramble. There we go. Ray Tyson with the big catch. Get the blocks, boys. Why would you block behind me for? I think the flag is going to be on them, though, surely. There's... What? I got tackled out of bounds, but... That's right, Bulldog. Get into him. Got him right over the top. Johnson hangs onto it. What a legend. Finally, we're in the end zone again. 21-0. One more touchdown. End or field goal. We're out of here, fellas. Dang, nice play. Dude, like, why is the linebacker on me? This is so confusing, bro. Like, what What even is that? You know what I mean? Dude, Presley, why are you not on your guy? He's all the way over there. Literally makes zero sense, but okay. Dang it, they keep getting us on slants. Oh, this is our out corner out. We know what this is. Whoa, that, you see that running back? Oh, pick it! It popped up right in your face. This is big right here, though. This is very big, very big play. Okay, motion. It's another slant, it's a fumble! James has got to jump, stay up! Oh, the big man with the scoop, he could not score, though. That was Brooks Hodges, I'm almost certain it was as well. Like, imagine, imagine having a game as good as you're already having, and then adding to it with that. Just psychopath hours, mate. Oh, shit. That was a pretty mean sack. <laughs> um, yeah, and they're pressing. I don't like this at all, but we got to try and make a play. How many are they sending? They're only sending three. Triangle should get this. Simmons, Joe Simmons. You got to remember, he's kind of a wide receiver as well, so... He is definitely able to go up and get those very consistently. But with that being said, fellas, like literally we're up 28-0. It is time to get out of this game. Checking out stats on the day. Trey Harrison, 180 yards, one touchdown, no picks. On the rushing end, Trey Harrison had two on the ground. Colton Mead even getting a touchdown on the ground. Joe Simmons as well with a big 61 yards. We'll have to utilize him more. And on the receiving end, what are we looking like? Marcus Anderson, the true freshman, 68 yards. Joe Simmons with the big 41-yard reception. Going to have to try and get him more involved. And defensively, Ruben Presley led the tackles today with eight. He had two TFLs. Brooks Hodges had six TFLs. Not to mention we had five sacks. I mean, you got to understand, Brooks Hodges... Is an absolute freak of nature, mate. Matchup nightmare for anybody. We had the NCAA player of the week. Oh, these are updated rosters. So I don't know if... Oh, no, Javonni Johnson is there. He's only a 68 overall, though. What are they doing? Put him as the starter, mate. There are some players I do definitely recognize, though. Like Oto Viano. You know we went crazy with him. I also remember Tyree Thornton as well. It's a shame. There's a lot of XXs, but, you know, updated rosters and all that. Oh, it was Brooks Hodges. Man, that probably is not his first defensive player of the week. He had six tackles, six TFLs, four sacks, and a forced fumble, man. He went crazy in that game. So as for recruiting, our little gang is getting a little bit bigger. We have Michael Pittman, the punter, Daniel Fields, and Stuart Hansen. I just found Trey Gatewood just then. He looks really solid. Like, 95 acceleration for an outside linebacker is no joke, bro, at all. As for everybody else, for the most part at least, it seems like we have the lead. Once we do bring them in on visits and everything like that, we should commit them for real, for real. But for now, we kind of just got to linger with these 1900 leads, etc.
All right, so in the CUSA West, we are fourth. Bro, I thought we would be right up there. UTEP is undefeated and also ranked. We play them very shortly. There's actually four teams that are two and one in conference and two undefeated teams. I wish we were in the CUSA East because it looks like they are struggling a lot more than the CUSA West where we are. So fellas, no like goal, but if you do enjoy the Assassin's Dynasty, do not forget to leave a like. Literally takes a second and it helps out the channel so, so much. With that being said, fellas, let's get into it. Oh, it's raining because it's a sad day, man. I really, really do miss being at Rice. So many memories, so many good players, etc. Obviously, you know, my goal is to injure three quarterbacks so Javonni Johnson comes in. Okay, that's my guy right there. I need Javonni Johnson to come in. <laughs> oh, that should that could have been a pick. Okay, again, you gotta follow you guys. Run play. Brooks Hodges. Screenplay. Yikes, we caught a 3-4 Predator. And they still got sacked by Brooks Hodges. Dot. That's your star quarterback. I just stepped back, cheesed him. Straight in the end zone with Sean Carr. He's taking off. Injure him! Nah, nah, that's me. Okay, Mayfield, make sure you follow your guy forehead. Yeah, that's exactly why you follow your man, so you're not 30 yards away. <laughs> they went a hurry up after going out two times in a row. Like, you know what this could be, right? No, it's not. Oh, and they go to the out route again. Zane, I remember Zane as well. He was a beast. Literally just did three out routes. None of them were long enough to get 10 yards. Like, they intentionally made 10 yards, 7 yards on that drive. Let's go. Cut it out. I'm swerving on him, Jamie Jones. Uh-oh. <laughs> I didn't see number 86. Sean Carr's on the outside. I wonder if he can outspeed. He can outspeed. I'm taking that, though. Ray Tyson with a nice little juke before getting popped. Oh, Ray Tyson, mate. I'm about to bench this guy, no cap. And you know I'm serious when I say cap, because I never say cap. Thank you for holding on to the ball, my guy. I might have to take off big cojones, Trey Harrison. You already know we're streaking in. 14-0 lead in the first quarter. Once we get to those harder conferences, everything is going to change. That's why we're doing this. So we can get through these conferences quickly, you know? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. No, Juma. Oh, come on. Oh, it is a big. No, I step back. Cheese Brown going to go straight in the end zone. <laughs> I need a replay of that because I don't know how we got it. And I stepped back by accident. No replay, really? No? What? Oh, man. You're just going to have to go back and watch the whole video again. And watch the ads, please. For real though, we got four and a half minutes in the second quarter left. Like, this is by far the quickest, like, episode ever. And I'm sorry for that, but I stand by what I said. I don't want to be in the CUSA for long. It's a run play. What? What? Alright, we're right there. No, he's gonna get the first. I don't know what their game plan is right now, but whatever they're doing is just really weird. Like, this whole formation in general is weird. Oh, uh, and he dropped it. Good old Zane. He never used to drop him when we were at Rice. Well, this is it right here, fellas. If we could get down to the end zone and kick a field goal or score, we're chilling. I don't like that on the right, though. Wow. Like, they were blitzing like crazy. Like, what? Nice blitz, nerd. Taking that. Nah, I, I don't think Joe Simmons is the move at running back, I'm not going to lie. Any running back you scout or recruit, sorry, can get an open field juke. But Joe Simmons not once has trucked somebody or anything, bro. No stiff arms. I'm just, the vibe that he brings to the team is just not it, bro. He can't do anything. Like, 
All right, he's going. Ray Tyson, oh, I'm surprised you didn't drop it, mate. That's another thing we gotta do in the recruiting of next episode. We gotta get a running back. Next episode should be good as well. We have two hard teams. Let's go, Trey. Fourth and two, boys. We're gonna kick the field goal. 11 mile per hour wins, my goodness. Slot it over. That's another four possession lead. As I said, next episode, we got much harder teams, so we should get at least one full game, I'm expecting for sure. Okay, actually, never mind, because apparently Rice came out of nowhere on the sim and started carving up. So we're going to get a stop, which is fine. Oh, look, there's Brooks Hodges again for another sack. That's a school record right there. Okay, Zane is not the type to stiff arm people, mate. Or break tackles. He just broke. Th what? That's the same guy that dropped all those open passes, and he just did that. I'm not even worried about it though. Like, I'm just gonna score here, so it's fine. Unless I fumble it or throw a pick, of course. Which could be the case. Let's go, Jamie Jones. Ah, what? In the second half, we have 26 yards. Like, what was our team doing on simulation? Right now, though, Rice should still be on offense. There's no way that should have been a touchdown. Like, that's disgusting. From a guy who doesn't even break tackles, bro. Oh, I feel like this is one of those games that EA is probably going to make us lose. I'm not even going to lie. Like, this seems really sketchy right now. Super sketchy. He dropped it. That's with conservative catching on. Our number one receiver. Like, fourth and ten. How are we losing this game? Okay, so let's hope that they don't have literally the most overpowered wide receiver of all time. Because uh, that might make us struggle a little bit. There we go. Good sack. Good sack. Burnett is another player you can't underestimate either. Like, both of our best players are blitzing, you know? That's what makes it so deadly. Brooks Hodges can't make the tackle. There we go. It's another sack. Let's go, boys. So the only problem now is we don't have any timeouts, but we should have really good field position here. We might even score off this, honestly, if we get, like, a decent block. Like this. Like, this is perfect. JB Jones on the sideline. Let's go, baby. Cut it out. We're in the end zone. I had a feeling. Excuse me. There was just no way I was going to let us lose that game. Like, no chance. I mean, it's not over yet, but I really don't want to lose to, to Rice. You know? Got to take off. Brooks Hodges is there again. There we go. I'm in the backfield. Fourth and two. So typically right now, I would go in 3-4 Predator. And kind of just play to my advantage, but nah, not today. Not today. Savage Crow is in the building. It's a run play, burn it! Let's go! That is game right there, fellas. Ah, oh, man, lucky I called the blitz. So if we don't throw a pick six on this play, then we should be good. That's literally it. Just don't throw a pick six and we're good. X. Ah, he's not going to get in the end zone. We are the dirtiest team in college football and I stand by it, mate running it in big cojones what are they gonna do stop me 38 to 28 is your final score fellas checking out the stats on the day trey harrison didn't play all that well in both games but he did basically just i don't know he was the man on the rushing in 45 yards for simmons harrison at 18 and two touchdowns today on the receiving end this was a very interesting conversation ray tyson i don't think had 68 yards but whatever Sean Carr with 42 and a touchdown. And on defense, like, what do you even say about this? Burnett and Hodges are by far the deadliest duo in college football. Brooks Hodges had another four sacks. Remember, he's only 76 overall, so I don't know how he's doing this. Not to mention, we also had that step back interception pick six with Spencer Brown. Defense really balled out today, man. Made for some interesting games. But that being said, fellas, if you made it this far into the video, you are the real MVP. I hope the rest of your day's awesome. And from me personally, I'm out. Peace.
me, I'm a lead it. Run into the bag like I'm so athletic. I've been up since six, making hits like tennis. I've been on five, I just need my credit. Wanna go far, need to change my settings. Reaching for the stars so my feet touch heaven. Heaven, heaven.